Alright, we're here with a Dokkan battle video, and uh, yeah, Namek Saga will be the theme for the 350 million download celebration. Really unexpected, honestly, for me. Uh, I do pre actually prefer this over Cell Saga. I can uh, hold off on Battle of Gods. I, I, can, uh, I can wait for that. This is good. I like this. As you can see here, Rio Cut Your Leaks, Namek Star Edition Held, Bulma Daily Event for Stones, LR Ginyu, wait, wait, Ginyu Four Squadrons Ultimate Z Awakening Metal Acquisition. I just assumed that was the LR Ginyu Force, like the, the attack one, but now that I'm thinking about it, could be all of the free to play ones? Am I crazy? I just noticed that. Uh, Challenge event to experience fierce fighting from two per perspectives. I heard this is one event, but like there's two different perspectives. So we, uh, I'm just gonna you know talk about what we could see, see some stuff. First thing that's interesting would be these two guys getting an easy A, because obviously they are outdated. They stack attack and defense, and then they get 80% defense start of turn. They're not great. I'm like defensively they can be okay, but then like. You that would be for a long event, then you get to the final form. No more stack, so that doesn't even work for long events. Uh wow, they are on a lot of categories though, since this, since they're on like the ones that match every form. Yeah, these guys could very easily see an easy eight, because you know it's Namek Saga celebration, 350 million downloads. Obviously it's gonna be Goku versus Frieza. And this is literally, you know, Goku versus Frieza from 2018. So them doing like another like early easy A would obviously works because if we look at this Goku, 18th of March 2018, a 31st of August. So it's not that far apart, and it's been like what like six months since this guy's easy A on JP. So these guys could actually very easily see an easy A. I heard some people talking about full power Frieza getting an easy A. Uh, I have him at 55%, not even, like, SA completed, so I can't really talk about how good he is, but from what, I, I don't know, I, I see very mixed opinions on him. Some people think he needs an easy A, others think he's, uh, he's, uh, underrated, but, oh, here, here, what's this? Full Terrifying Conquerors team, 55%, Blinks activated. Okay, so I mean this is impressive, right? Defense is fine as well, but it is under 30% HP because you can see here gets uh, additional attack for the lower your HP is, and then he only has 80% defense. Yeah, actually, even if his attack can hold up on low like HP levels. His defense certainly is not, like, you can see here, 150k. With a ton of good links active, support. Let's see, uh, when Link is supported by the right partners. I mean, I'm, his defense would probably be fine at rainbow level, but, like, I don't... He could get an easy A, right? Like, Goku and Frieza were not dying for an easy A either when they got there, so... He could get an easy A. Anybody here who hasn't gotten one can get one like this. When I clicked on this, I was surprised by how barren it is. Like, there's nothing here. I saw one people talking about this guy getting an easy A. Honestly, this art kind of sucks, man. Like, for how... Like, for that moment, this art actually just does not do it justice. Like, it doesn't look bad, I guess. Like, it looks fine. But compared to that, uh, that GIF, I'll probably put it up on screen right now. Like, you can see... Like that hair, like I don't know man, just does not look good. Survives KO attacks when HP is 20% or above? What does that even mean? What? Okay. So yeah, I guess you could get an easy A. Anybody get an easy A? I'm, am I dumb? Because I still don't understand Ginyu Force Squadrons. What is your name? Ginyu Force. Is it the- I'm, I'm out of my mind, dude. Or is it all of them? I feel like that would make sense. I don't know if this is obvious or not, but 
yeah, Ginyu Force getting easy A's. Which, you know, Global's gonna get that before the ESBR stage. As for additional characters, we can see this place is pretty barren, so I actually have the Legends one open up here. I mean, you have all these minions who I doubt <laughs> will be making an appearance. That would be pretty cool if, you know, like the, uh, like the, uh, Metal Cooler team where they're all different types, if they did that for, like, a pool, Robbery, Orlin, Nibana, Ramon, where they're all, like, a squad of free-to-play units, that'd be pretty cool. And then, for, like, a, a Part 2 LR, you could, we could see, uh, this Vegeta, like, early Vegeta, he has the armor, the scouter, when, when he kills Kui, when he's fighting uh, Zarbon and Dodoria. Or we could see this Vegeta, where he's spamming the Zenkai boost. This Vegeta is incredibly underrepresented, like it's crazy. He literally is not in the in Dokkan as far as I know, like I'm looking here, I don't see him. He's gotta be in there somewhere, right? No? Yeah, and then in Legends, he's like an, he's like an extreme from like a trillion years ago so honestly a Vegeta from that moment would be cool I mean there's also Zarbon and Dodoria we could see I mean could we see a new Ginyu I mean like I feel like that'd be like Dokkan Fest right not like banner unit maybe <laughs> yeah they released the third LR Ginyu Force and it's just like a Ginyu and Jace or something but yeah, there's a lot of options for like a part 2 LR, although part 1 is very clearly Super Saiyan Goku versus full power Frieza. How they do that depends, because for Frieza they can very easily just do final form into full power. But for Goku they've already done the, uh, the Super Saiyan transformation. So I don't know if they're just going to completely remake this Goku. And I mean they probably make him SDR as well, because they just love giving uh, all the best units SDR. Yeah, I don't know if they're just gonna... Actually, well, I mean, they wouldn't perfectly redo this guy, because, you know, they'd get the the shirtless Goku. You know, that is the angry Kamehameha fights Frieza, not just the early Super Saiyan one. But I feel like this transformation is a big selling point, right? I don't know. Or maybe they just do it that it's like base Goku shirtless starting, and then it's like when he retransforms. Although, again, that's not the original transformation moment. So I don't know what they do for that, and I don't know why... Jesus, whoa, 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 wait, yeah, 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 whoa, okay. But yeah, there's a lot from the Namek Saga we can see, so if they start spamming, you know, free-to-play units, free-to-play easy A's, banner unit easy A's, Dokkan Fest easy A's, you know, this guy. Please give this guy an easy A, he deserves it. Let's go, easy A incoming, because yeah, his defense stuff is not good if he doesn't guard and, you know, chance to guard. Also, um, easy A stats would help his rage ability in terms of doing damage. They could also, uh, oh, he Raymo orb changes. I was gonna say they could give him like a key mechanic, like LR Janemba, but I guess Raymo orb changing works. He's on a lot of categories as well, okay. So... Yeah, really anything can happen, you know, LR Full Power Freeze Easy A early, this guy's Easy A early, these guys Easy A's, I mean, like this guy, I don't know, like I would say he deserves it or he needs it, but like this is a big time disparity compared to like these guys, right? I feel like it would also just make, like, like this guy would make more sense for the celebration, I guess, but... I feel like it just makes more sense to do these guys first. Also, these guys are going to be featured on the banner, which is awesome, you know. I have seven copies of this Goku, and I surprisingly have zero of this Frieza, so... If the Frieza gets an easy A, he'd actually be pretty good to pull. Oh, uh, but I think that about does it. Like, uh... We already have a nail in the game. Oh, I mean, the... the, uh... The Piccolo we have that fuses into Nail. I feel like that could be a good future um, Dokkan Fest, right? Because this is just like a free to play unit, right? Just gotta double check. Acquire 250 million downs login bonus. And he's from that story event, yeah. So I feel like a good, uh, you know, Piccolo. Piccolo. I was about to say Piccolo absorb Nail. Nail absorb Piccolo. 
would be like I don't know everything that I'm thinking of would work better as like future Dokkan Fest not like banner units although you know again Zarbon, Dodoria maybe even Kui like those obviously like Frieza soldiers could work and maybe they could even do like the Ginyu Force members who are not Ginyu as banner units but I'm, I think that would make more sense to do when a Dokkan Fest Ginyu would come out. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, Namek Saga, very hype, very cool, very good. As you can see, not much from Namek, so I hope that they just like really nail it home, really just start spamming during the celebration, just non-stop Namek Saga units. But yeah, end of video, like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.